It's time to gather your mind in. Make it one. Focus on one thing, the breath. And gather all your attention here. Let all your thoughts be devoted to the breath. Your sense of the body. Make that totally sensitive to breath everywhere in the body. This is when the mind is really one. When it's focused on one thing and that one thing fills its awareness. We live in a world where our minds tend to get fragmented. So many things we're supposed to know. So many things that are shouted at us in the media. You have to know about this, know about that. Not only do you have to know about it, you're supposed to form an opinion. Other people expect you to have an opinion on whatever's going on in the news. So it's become a real disease, this fear of missing out. So learn to be happy missing out on those other things, because if you are afraid of missing out on things outside, you end up not paying attention inside. And this is where the attention really matters. During my first five years in Thailand, there were only two news items from the outside world that came into the monastery. One was that Sky Lab was going to fall. The other was that Elvis Presley died. That was it. And it was nice being in an area where I didn't have to know anything about the world outside. I could devote myself totally to focusing inside. So try to keep that focus as much as you can. As for things outside, have a real sense of what really is necessary to know and what's not necessary to know, and leave the unnecessary stuff behind. Because the real range of our ignorance here is inside. And that's the ignorance that really matters. When you die, there's not going to be any quiz about current affairs. But the act of dying is going to be a real test of what you learned about your own mind. So that's what you've got to prepare for. How you handle pain in the body, how you handle the fact that you're going to be leaving this world. Those are issues you really have to face. And so you face them by teaching the mind concentration, teaching the mind not to fall for its hindrances. Because at the moment of death, the hindrances are going to get really strong. So you have to do what you can to fight them off. But keep this single-minded purpose here, that you want to find true happiness. And you make the mind one so it can gather around that desire and really work with it. The Buddha was very single-minded in his approach to happiness. He wants us to be single-minded too. It requires that we have a clear sense of priorities, what's important in life, what's not. Then we give our focus to the things that really do matter, the state of your mind. That should be your number one concern.